Welcome to Search Analysis. I'm Dr. Kamran and in today's tutorial we will discuss how to run sequential mediation in SPSS. So, so our sequential mediation is look like this like you can see here we have IV CSR directed towards employees which is directed towards perceived organizational support and then perceived organization support is actually predicting effective commitment and effective commitment is finally leading to our DV OCBO. So this is one of the example of sequential mediation. Technically uh, sequential mediation look like this. For example, if uh, your model is like uh, when you have one IV and one DV and in between there are actually more than one variable then we can consider it as sequential mediation. You might be you know there must be a question in your mind how we can and just conclude that whether a specific variable should be considered as uh, as a part of sequential mediation or not, it's definitely your theory and your literature review that, that would direct you to use specific variables as a, you know, as a sequential mediators. Anyhow, when you have a sequential mediation, you can uh, you can examine the impact of your IV on first mediator, then uh, your uh, impact of your IV on second mediator, and then the impact of your IV on DV you can, which you can tell as direct, direct impact between your IV and DV. And also there is a relationship between your IV and first mediator then first mediator to second mediator and finally from second mediator to your DV. And in this sequential mediation, there are three mediating hypotheses which you can examine. First, like for example, in this case, perceived organizational support as a mediating mechanism between CSR, EMP, and OCBO. Then second hypo mediation hypothesis could be the impact of CSR, EMP on OCBO through effective commitment or simply you can see you can say effective commitment mediate the relationship between CSR EMP and OCBO and finally you can you can have the third mediating hypothesis that perceived organizational support and effective commitment sequentially mediate the relationship between CSR EMP and OCBO now I will tell you how to run a sequential mediation in SPSS. So simple is let open the data. So all the variables are already being created. So these are actually the averages of all the items of CSR EMP, perceived organizational support, effective commitment and then OCBI which we are not considering in the current model and finally the OCBO. So in order to run sequential mediation you need to go to analyze again the regression and then process. It is very important that the process must be installed in your SPSS because sequential radiation has been run through process, process macro. So I will click the process macro. Let's just reset. Okay, from here, just CSR EMP, you can put here. And then Y, this is our DV, so OCBO. And now we will put our first mediator and then second mediator. In the options, we can click this show total effect model, then standardize effects. From here, P less than 0.05, continue. And 
this is very important if you are interested to see just uh, simple medi mediation or if you have only one mediator between your IV and AV we actually use the model 4 but in case of sequential mediation we need to select model 6 just select model 6 and then just click OK So let the SPSS run our model. It usually take four to five seconds. And from here, first of all, just confirm that you have the model six. You have your DV against the Y or CBO. Then your IV, CSR, AMP, first mediator, passive organizational support, second mediator, effective commitment. Just to reconfirm that whether if it could be possible uh, we may enter some wrong entry. So just to make sure we can double check from here. And first of all, you can see all the you know different relationship, the impact of CSR EMP on first mediator, perceived organizational support. You can see this is coefficient value, or we can say in simple way the beta. These are the standardized results. This is the p-value which is significant and also in the interval there is no zero. So we can conclude that the impact of CSR EMP, its impact on perceived organizational support, the first mediator, is this impact is significant. And then you can see the impact of CSR EMP on our on our second mediator, which is factory commitment, and you can see this is the coefficient value. This is the p-value which is also significant and also in the interval there is no zero. So we can, can conclude that the impact of CSR EMP on factory commitment is also significant. And then the impact of perceived organizational support on effective commitment and you can simple uh, in a simple way you can say the impact of first mediator on the second mediator. <clears throat> Uh, this is also you know this is a coefficient value and you can see it is also significant as in the interval there is no zero so the impact of pos on effective commitment is also significant and then you can see if you are in, have a hypothesis that is uh, related to impact of your IV on DV that direct impact this is the direct impact this is also significant and also in, in interval there is no zero then impact of your second mediator as we have passive organizational support its impact on OCBO you can say its value is 0 0.09915 p-value is insignificant and this is also proving from the intervals you can see the one value is negative and another is positive so it means that zero lies in the interval so impact of perceived organizational support on OCBO is insignificant and finally the impact of factory commitment on OCBO you can say this is the beta value or the coefficient P value is significant also in the interval there is no zero so let's come to the most interesting thing this is the total fact model CSR EMP and OCBO and finally you can see the total direct and indirect effects these are very important because in order to examine our mediation hypothesis we usually rely on these results So this is telling us the direct impact of our IV on DV and then in order to examine the mediating hypothesis we have three indirect effects. So these are the indirect effects and if you are interested to see the standardized indirect effects you can rely on these results. This in order to make sure that what are those indirect effects you can rely on these three equations first of all the CSR EMP its impact on perceived organizational support and OCBO so this is telling us uh, the hypothesis that is relevant with the role of POS 
as a mediator between CSR EMP and OCBO. Then the second hypothesis, second equation, the role of effective commitment as a mediator between CSR EMP and OCBO. And finally, the sequential mediation, the role of POS and effective commitment as a sequential mediators between CSR EMP and OCBO. And you can see the results. And when we see the first draw, you can see that this is the beta value. But uh, there is a little problem as one uh, lower level interval is negative and the other one is upper level confidence interval is positive. So we can conclude that this, uh, this hypothesis is not proved and the uh, PUS is actually not can't be considered as a mediator between CSR EMP and OCBO. And then we have this um, effective commitment as a mediator between CSR EMP and OCBO. And you can see this value is uh, significant as the interval does not contain any zero. And finally, the hypothesis, which is most important for us, as a role of POS and effective commitment as a sequential mediator between CSR, ENP, and OCBO. And you can see that this value is, the effect is 0 0.0423. And in the interval, there is no zero. So we can conclude that the POS and effective commitment works as a sequential mediators between CSR, ENP, and OCBO. I hope this video will be helpful for you if you will have any question regarding this particular tutorial and the sequential mediators you can write in the comments of the video thanks for watching